Human eye is the most complex part in the body. The different parts of human eye allow the body to receive light and perceive object with proper color and depth. Now let's know about the parts of the eye and their function. Cornea. Cornea is the outward covering of eye. This dome-shaped tear protects the eye from substance that could reason damage to the internal parts of the eye. There are different layers of the cornea forming a tough tear that provides extra protection. These layers renew very quickly, contributory the eye to extract damage more freely. The cornea also permit the eye to rightly focus on the light more practically. Those person who are having problem focusing their eyes easily can have reshaped their corneas surgically to eliminate this problem. Sclera Sclera is usually mentioned to as the whites of the eye. This is a soft, white layer on the outside, but the internal part is brown and contains grooves which help to attach properly the tendons of the eye. The sclera gives structure and safety for the internal workings of the eye. It is also flexible so that the eye can move to seek out objects as necessary. Pupil the pupil like as a black dot in the middle part of the eye. This black field is a hole that takes in light so that the eye can focus on the substance in front of it. Iris Iris is the area of the eye which holds the pigment which gives the eye its color. The area encloses the pupil, and uses the dilator pupillae muscles to close or widen the pupil. Dot depending on how much bright it is around you this grants the eye to take in less or more light. Dot the iris will narrow the pupil so that the eye can focus more effectively if it is too bright. Conjunctiva glands Conjunctiva glands are layers of mucus that helps to keep the outside of the eye moist. It can become itchy and painful. If the eye dries out also become more capable to damage or infection, the patient will develop pink eye. If these become infected, lacrimal glands. These glands are located on the outer corner of each eye. They produce tears which help moisten the eye when it becomes dry and flush out particles which irritate the eye. As tears flush out potentially dangerous irritants, it becomes easier to focus properly. Lens The lens stay just behind the pupil. This is a layer which focuses the light the pupil takes in. It is caught in place with the help of ciliary muscles that allow the lens to change form depending on the volume of light that hits it for this it can be properly focused. Retina Retina made of cones and rods arranged in layers, that will send light into electrical pulses and chemicals. This stays in the back of the eye and is connected to the optic nerves which will send the images the eye sees to the brain so they can expound. Ciliary body It is a ring-shaped tissue that controls and holds the movement of the eye lens, and thus, it also supports to control the features of the lens. Choroid The choroid lies between the sclera and retina, that supply blood to the eye. The blood supply gives nutrition to the various parts of the eye just like any other portion of the body. Vitreous humor. It is a gel situated in the back side of the eye that helps it holds its shape. To remain the eye healthy vitreous humor takes in nutrients from the ciliary body, aqueous humor and the retinal vessels. Aqueous humor. It is a watery object that fills the eye. Aqueous humor is split into two chambers. The posterior chamber is directly behind it and the anterior chamber is located in front of the iris. These layers approve the eye to maintain its shape. For removing any buildup in the eye, this liquid is drained through the Schlem canal.